and this is the view from the back. Lovely. So that's the fence removed and I've dug the first hole for the post. So I've put the post in the hole and I've clamped supports all around it to position it in level. I've got this little gizmo here which is a, a special spirit level for a fence post. It's really handy as you can see. All the bubbles are in the middle, so that's level. I start off by filling the hole a third of the way up with water. If I'm a bit muffled, it's because I've got a mask on. Now, I'm going to put this postcrete in. I'm following the instructions on the bag of the post creek. The post creek just goes straight in the water. When I'm putting in the post creek, I ensure that it's going in all around the post and I fill it up to just past ground level. Once all the post creeks in, you shouldn't be able to see any more water. And then you just spray the top with a fine mist of water or just a little bit of water on top just to moisten it. And that should allow it all to go off. And now leave that to set. It should take about 20 minutes. So that's all the posts in. just put the gravel boards in place they're not installed yet that's the next thing to do to fix the gravel board on I'm using these galvanized brackets with some stainless steel screws I'm using my automatic centre punch to give a nice hole to start the screws off in. It makes it a lot easier. So that's all the gravel boards installed. You can see there's gaps at the bottom. That's because I put them in level. I'm going to just fill those gaps with the earth that you can see. So now we're ready for the Aris rails. I've already done one of the Aris rails. I'm using these brackets. It makes it a lot easier than grooving out the posts. I'll show you how I do it. I've marked where I'm going to put the brackets on the post. They're going to sit this far back from the front so the feather board can run down and exactly in the middle there. I'm using one and a quarter inch self tapping stainless steel screws. Four in each bracket. Gotta love it when you strip a screw. So 
So that's all the brackets fitted to the posts. Now it's time to fit the rails. You can see I've already fitted one. I've put the rail in the bracket and just clamped it at each end. hold it secure while I screw it in. I'll start off by putting the first couple of screws in then I can remove the clamp. These are one inch self tapping stainless steel. So a bit shorter than the ones for the brackets. Nice and sturdy. All the rails are done now, so it's time for the feather board. Now I'm putting the feather board panels on. I've got a nail gun, so I'm going to use that, but you can use just a hammer and nails to make sure I'm spacing it evenly, which it needs to be seven and a half centimeters. I've cut this little block. So that will enable me to space it at the right width. And then once you've started, I've got this spacer block so that's seven and a half centimeters just put it on and use it to line up your nails as well That's that, I'll go all the way along. So that's all the featherboard nailed on. Just need to build the gate now and clear up all the rubble. So I've put the gate in now and treated all the wood in the gate and all the cut ends. So that's the fence done. And then that's the view from the outside, much better. That's the end of the video, I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Love to see some comments. Um, there'll be some other videos. You'll be able to see a link here and here. And please subscribe down here. Hopefully see you again soon.